Hey everybody, good job so far in today's lesson. Again, I know it's a little bit different, but I'm sure you all are doing great. And I hope you learned a lot about the Republican and the Democratic Party and how they look right now. For this video, we're going to talk about the creation of the first two political parties and why they were created. So after the Constitution was ratified by all the states, people started disagreeing on what it meant and the powers it gave government. So you had one party, well, you had one group of people, I should say, and they believed in a stronger centralized government. So giving the federal government, the executive, the judicial, and the legislative, at least equal power to the state governments. You had another group of people and they believed in making the state governments a lot stronger and having the federal government, the executive, judicial, and the legislative parts being a lot weaker. So Alexander Hamilton kind of became the face of the Federalist Party. Again, that's the one that believed in a stronger centralized government. And Thomas Jefferson and James Madison, they became the heads of what was the Anti-Federalist Party or the Democratic Republican Party, as they called themselves. And again, those were the guys that believed that the big federal government shouldn't be that big and really shouldn't be that strong. They started disagreeing about things like um, Alexander Hamilton. He wanted to create a national bank. And the other uh, guys like Thomas Jefferson, James Madison, people who were part of their political beliefs, they were like, no, 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 no. We shouldn't have anything that is extremely centralized in power or something that is one thing, a national bank, and has a lot of control over a lot of other parts of the economy. They would, they disagreed on who had greater authority over certain issues, the state or the federal government. They would disagree about the military. Should we have a big military like we do now? That's what the Federalists under Alexander Hamilton believed. Or should we have a really super small military? That's what the Democratic Republican Party or the Anti-Federalists under Thomas Jefferson and James Madison would believe. So they just kind of kept going and going and going at each other. And then finally, after George Washington left office, the creation of the two parties were really solidified. And from then on, you had political parties. Remember, they did change over time. The Republican Party, like you guys learned in the one of the Ed Puzzle videos, that wasn't created really till 1854. I think it was. And you guys learned about how their beliefs kind of changed over time too. But that's where the parties come from. Kind of sounds familiar, right? People disagreeing on what government should and should not do, the powers the government should and should not have. So for the next thing I'm going to have you guys do, you're going to go into Schoology and you're going to go to part six, I think it is. And it is going to be a um, uploaded Word document. It's going to have some primary quotes or quotes from people all the way back then, guys like George Washington and Alexander Hamilton and Thomas Jefferson, and what they said about political parties. You're going to read those quotes. You're going to ask and answer a couple of questions after you read those, and then look for at the end of that document for more instructions to follow on what to do next.